It is all about second chances and sometimes more at Focus Ministries. It helps women like Savannah Ford out of jail or prison start the process of rebuilding their lives. But it needs more houses to be able to help more women in this week's Positively Tennessee. Construction crews are adding a retaining wall and expanding the driveway at Focus Ministries Freedom House. On the outside, it looks like a regular home. Inside, you want to see how important you are in the world today. Are women who have worked harder than anyone will ever know to help other women get their lives back on track. Like Savannah Ford, in and out of jail for drug charges, facing a double-digit prison sentence in 2021 until she was offered a chance in court to get help instead. They allowed me to go to the program basically on bond, and they were giving me, I felt like they were giving me one last chance before they tried to throw me away. Um, and I did it. I knuckled down. I was very determined. I could see God all through it which that's really the cool part, is like God orchestrated all of this, and now my life's on a track that I never thought it would be on. If you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you always got. And so these ladies are, are building tools and they're learning new ways. They're working on workforce rehabilitation. They're getting their CDL so they can be a truck driver. They're getting their cosmetology license. They're doing culinary school so that they can have sustainable wage jobs, but it's still difficult to go from incarceration to completely on your own in just six months. That's why Focus Ministries needs more housing like the Freedom House to provide step-down programs for women in various stages of recovery. It isn't easy. It's been difficult to find a place for them because once we submit the application and we let people know that some ladies that are going to be here have a past, they don't want to rent to them. I really would like for people in the community to get to know our ladies as human beings instead of judging them based on something that happened years ago. Just look at Savannah. I say thank you to Focus because it helped me just completely redirect my life in a positive way that three and a half years ago I would have thought was never possible. I thought I was going to be on drugs forever. And now I have hope and I have a future and I have all these like wonderful things about me that I never knew were there. Savannah is now on staff at Focus Ministries, helping other women. Focus Ministries, by the way, is holding a grand reopening at its Freedom House you just saw to celebrate its expansion and garner support for more housing. Focus is holding tours of the house Thursday, October 5th from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. It's at 1414 East Emory Road in Knoxville. Everyone is welcome.